In this video, we're going to take a look at metadata properties in SharePoint Search. And in this first part, we're going to look at what they are and how they work. So I'm going to start here in SharePoint Central Administration. And under Application Management, I'm going to click Manage Service Applications. Go down to my Search Service Application. And you can see here in the left pane, there's a link for metadata properties. And if I click, you'll see there is a long list here of managed properties. And then I also have a link to crawled properties, which gives me another long list this time of crawled properties. So let's start with what these things are. A crawled property is a piece of metadata that the system picks up from your content while doing a crawl. And this could be any kind of data that's defined within your content. Now you can see this list here, the names are somewhat cryptic, but they do actually translate to things that you're familiar with. For example, Office 2 text is the title of a document, and Office 3 text is the subject, Office 4 text is the author. And as you can see, there are a great number of these for pretty much every attribute that you might want to track, right down to last printed, page count, word count, or even character count. Now this list is specific to the crawled properties that you'll find within Office documents. There are others that you might find associated with people, with websites, with mail items, and so forth. Now you'll notice that some of these are actually mapped to managed properties. And a managed property is a property that you can deliberately search on. So for example, if I wanted to search on the subject of a document, this is mapped to the managed property doc subject. So I could search on doc subject equals some string. Whereas if I wanted to search on, let's say, last author, the last author crawled property, Office 8 text, is not mapped to a managed property. So I couldn't deliberately search for last author unless I create a mapping there. The crawled property, Office 3 text, which is the subject of a document, is mapped to the managed property called doc subject. So if I wanted to specifically search for the subject of a document, I could say doc subject server integration, for example, and it will return the documents which have server integration listed as the subject of the document. And subject is a predefined field that you can set within Word or Excel or other Office applications. So managed properties like doc subject are mapped to crawled properties to allow you to do explicit searches. Now if I switch back over to my crawled properties list, you'll see that a lot of these are not mapped. You see the map to column is filled out here and there, but a lot of them are not mapped. Now if I go back to managed properties, you'll see that some of these are mapped to multiple crawled properties. For example, author is mapped to Mail 6, which is an exchange property, Office 4, which is an office property, and author, which is another crawled property that is picked up while crawling my content. The result of this is that if I do an explicit search on author, it will give me mail items that match, or office items that match, or other items that have the crawled property of author that match. So you can do a one-to-one -one or a one-to-many mapping of managed properties to crawled properties or of crawled properties to managed properties. And we'll be taking a closer look at how to actually do that mapping in the next video in this series. Now I'm going to go back to my crawled properties list and you'll see there's another column here called included in index. And you'll see if I click on one of these, I can configure whether it's included in the index just by checking this checkbox or not. Now, whether a crawled property is included in the index or not 
has an effect on how your searches work. Let's take a look at an example of that. You'll see here on my list that Office 6 text is the description or comments within a document, and that this is mapped to two different managed properties, description and doc keywords. Now, if I go to my client computer and I create a new Word document, and on File, Info, I'm going to ask it to show the document panel. Here are the comments right here. Now, if I type a relatively generic word here, such as sunshine, then I'll just say this is a new document, and I'll come up to File, Save and Send, Save to SharePoint, Save As. It's going to call it This is a New Document by default. That's fine. Click Save. I'll close out Word, and it has now uploaded my document with the comment Sunshine to my SharePoint site. Now again, if you recall the mapping, comments maps to Office 6 text. So if we go back to the server computer, and the first thing I need to do here since we've added new content is to actually do a crawl. So I'm going to go to my list of content sources and just click Start All Crawls. And, of course, doing a crawl can take some time, but I've speeded it up here in the video so we don't have to wait. Now it's completed the crawl, so I'll go back to my other tab. And you'll recall that it was Office 6 text. Now you can see this is a very long list. I've got 367 crawled properties here, so the easy way to find what I'm looking for is to just search for it. And in order to find Office 6 text, just searching on 6 will narrow the field sufficiently. And if I scroll down, you can see here it is. Now, by default, this is included in the index. So let's take a look at what that really means in terms of doing searches. I'm going to switch over to my Search Center. And you recall we uploaded a document that contained the word Sunshine as the document comment. Now, if I just search on Sunshine, you can see here's our document called This is a New Document. Now, because that Office 6 text crawled property is mapped to the managed property description. Of course, I can search on description sunshine also. And if I run the query, you can see I get exactly the same results, which is this one document where we left the comment. Now, if I switch back to my list of crawled properties, and I go into Office 6 text, and I deselect this checkbox, and click OK, if I again search on 6, scroll down to Office 6 text, you can see that it is now not included in the index. And this changes how we can search. Now, of course, because I've made a change here, I need to regenerate the index. So I'll go back up to my content sources, start all crawls. Now, this does need to be a full crawl in this case. Now my crawl is complete, so I'll go back to my list of crawled properties. Now let's take a look at what it really means for this to not be in the index. If I go to my search center, and again I search on Sunshine, if I run the query, you'll see there are no results. And this is because we've removed that crawled property from the index. Now that crawled property is mapped to the managed property description. So we can again type in Description Sunshine, and this time if we run it, we do get the document. So when a crawled property is not included in the index, then the metadata associated with that crawled property will not show up in general queries. But if the crawled property is mapped to a managed property, then you can specify the value and it will work. So that's really the difference between a crawled property being in the index or not being in the index. So let's take a quick look back at all of this. A crawled property, such as those in this list, is a piece of metadata associated with your content that the system has found while doing a crawl. A managed property is a 
property that you can define that will allow you to search for the data associated with a particular crawled property. And whether that crawled property is in the index or not determines whether that data will show up in ad hoc queries or whether you have to specifically search for it by using a managed property. In the next videos in this series, we're going to look at how to actually create the mapping between a managed property and a crawled property, how to add a new property, and how to customize your advanced search page so that you can more easily search on some of your managed properties. So that's a quick look at the basics of how crawled properties and managed properties work in SharePoint Search. You can leave feedback on this video or any of our TechNet content by going to the TechNet article and clicking the rating and feedback control at the top of the page. Or you can send feedback to searchdx at microsoft.com.